It's election day here in the United States, and I've just returned home from voting. It should come as to no shock as to no one, but uh, I voted for Trump. If you've gone outside or spent time on social media, or if you live in a major city like I do, um, voting for Donald Trump or being even in favor of Trump when it comes to both the candidates, you're basically marking yourself as a social pariah. Why would I vote for Donald Trump? I think for a lot of people who are in favor of Trump this time around who maybe weren't before, it really comes down to the policies, money, the immigration issue, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The only real thing that the Democrats have on their side this election cycle is the abortion thing. I could see it being a top priority for a lot of maybe like younger women. Money was a lot better under his administration, you know? Um, it's, you know, hindsight is 2020, but I remember back in 2020, uh, looking at, you know, Trump's presidential record, you know, over those past, you know, three, three years and some change, four years. And I hadn't really spent a lot of time paying attention to politics, but, you know, upon looking at it on paper, Trump was a pretty good president. You know, unemployment was down, money was up, there were no wars, nothing got started. We were honestly doing better than we had been in a long time. Irony is things have gotten really, really bad like for us in the United States. The border is basically a revolving door. Gas prices are up, eggs are up. It's almost like $7 for eggs. That's insane. The economy is not doing very, very well right now. And what's crazy is when you turn on the news, you know, we keep hearing like, well, why is it a problem? Why is it a problem? And I just keep being told that, oh, well, it's Trump's fault. All these things are Trump's fault. The open border is Trump's fault because he wanted to have something to run on next time he ran for president. The economy is Trump's fault because, you know, he gave all his billionaire buddies tax cuts. When you really examine it and look at it, just none of that is is 100 percent true. And then when you look even deeper, you find that the opposition to Donald Trump is actually the cause of a lot of these things. A big, big reason, if I'm completely honest, as much as it pains me to say that I decided to vote for Donald Trump is because of my incredible paranoia and distrust of the Democratic Party. They are evil. Flat out, purely, purely evil. Now, that is not to say that the Republican Party are, you know, boy and girl scouts here, you know, by no means. These are politicians, you know, they're going to tell us things that we want to hear. They're going to, you know, manipulate the system. Things are going to be done that you know, maybe aren't in our best interests or that are in our best interests that, you know, to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs. I'm not giving a pass to anyone that does anything dishonest or wrong or against the law, but I cannot escape the glaring irony of the Democratic Party and the current regime and establishment constantly accusing their opponent of very shady, manipulative, corrupt goings-ons that they themselves are guilty of. It's gotten to a point now where it's not even a matter of like, oh, did he do it or did he not? It's like, yo, you stand out because you're doing it in real time. The Democratic Party claims that they're the party of unity, not division, and that Donald Trump is causing division and hate among the American people. But literally every single Democratic ad, every single Democratic rally, they are talking about how evil and terrible the opposition is. You can't do things like call a former president of the United States a dictator and a Nazi and not expect people to start losing their minds. He's had three attempts on his life in just a few months. That doesn't concern anyone. Every single thing that they say, oh, Trump said this, Trump did that. When you look into it, it's completely taken out of context and there's something else going on or there was something else that was meant. And then when the current side does it, it's swept under the rug. We had the sitting president of the United States. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but there is a president right now. His name is Biden. I don't know if you remember that. The sitting president of the United States said that his supporters were garbage. Then it was rewritten in the record because everything, everything that the president says is, you know, documented and put on record. They added an apostrophe S to supporters, which doesn't even make sense as far as the English language. Now, I know Biden's brain is like melting and now all of a sudden we it's OK to like openly say that and admit that, even though it wasn't a few months ago. But that's like... 
that, that violates the Constitution. If Donald Trump isn't the next president, our way of life as Americans, as we know it, will dramatically change. What shocks me the most is when I see intelligent, good people, and I'm talking about people in my day-to-day -day life who I know, who blindly just follow the regime completely. If I'm honest, he's not the type of person who I would imagine as president. If you want my honest opinion, his VP pick, J.D. Vance, that guy is presidential. I am literally, it's, it's got, it's to a point now where it's like the lesser of the two evils. I, I do not understand how so many people can blindly just not pay attention. And get this, that's what they're counting on. Counting on you to not pay attention, to not fact check. And what's crazy is if you hear, like, let's say you tell me, oh, well, Trump said and did this bad thing. And then I say in return, actually, no, he said this, this, and that. Will you fact check it? No. And at least in, that hasn't been my experience. In most cases, it gets shut down. It's like, oh, well, that's a lie. That's fake news. That's misinformation. That's not true. People are voting way too much with their emotions, way too much. I think even I'm guilty of that. As I said earlier, I think the Democratic Party is unabashedly, unapologetically evil and is not in favor of the American people. And if anything, they want to tear down America as it is in order for complete control of money and power. Donald Trump is a threat to how things have been because he doesn't need their money. He doesn't need their power. He very well, think about it, he could have walked away from this a long time ago, and yet he continues. He got shot in the ear, and he still is running. Wouldn't that scare any other regular person away? Donald Trump's not a regular person. He's a freak of nature. I do not know how this will turn out. And I'm trying to have peace with it and get to a place of like, you know, no matter who wins, you know, I'm still an American, you know, I still uh, am very patriotic, you know, take pride in where I am and show whatever leader is, you know, next in office, you know, the utmost respect because of the position that they hold. It's going to be really, really hard for me if I'm just being honest, if Trump doesn't win and Harris is the 47th president of the United States. Something I do want to encourage people with is no matter what side of the aisle that you're on, stay woke, fact check, do your own research and get this, do research from sources from both sides of the aisle. Like go to the most biased opinion that you can on both ends, compare them, find a neutral one, take that in and then use your brain and get this, even if you don't like the truth, which I don't understand why it, 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 it's it's gotten to a point now where people, they hate Trump so much. They hate him so much that even if truth about something that's just flat out not true about him is put in their face, they, they will deny it. Let me know who you voted for down in the comments. Do you think I'm wrong? <laughs> Do you think I'm right? And again, this is all opinion. And I, I definitely can see that like, a lot of the biases and things that like you know like that i dislike um i have biases too you know i have my preconceived notions but that's because uh i've, I've been disenfranchised by honestly big media and the government i've been told a certain thing my entire life that turns out just isn't true so let me know what you guys think